So authenticity, from what I've seen over the years, has to come from what comes at the beginning. When the act, if, is the actor available enough when he or she takes the script for the first time and starts breaking it down? Because when they're not, here's the reason for this whole preamble. When they're not, what do we do? Fake act. Right, right, exactly. And where do we, and where do we act from? Where does, where does it come from? Ideas. Exactly. Ideas, yeah. Exactly. We've got these ideas in our head that we immediately gravitate to. And once you've got that idea of how that part was played, regardless of how deep you can drop into character, there are shades of it in your performance. That's one of the reasons why I like to take material that we've seen a lot of and bring it into the workshop, because one of the biggest challenges in taking new material is learning how to get out of the way of yourself. So the theme of the class today is unguarding your heart and then approaching the material. Any questions? You guys all knew this guy who just committed suicide. You're bringing all the work you just did for two and a half hours to this moment, to this situation. And now add to it, just death brings people together. Let it bring you all together. Don't get so lost in the material. Connect with each other. Don't worry about memorization. Exactly, unguard your hearts. You guys especially, unguard your hearts in every way, including how you're guarding your heart right now. Yes. Fine. Whatever it is. Yeah, I know, because you're afraid to, to, to allow yourself to touch. I don't want to invade anybody's space. I mean, they'll tell you. <laughs> she? No, she's telling you right now. <laughs> Now I don't know whether uh, Kasdan would have done this. I don't know if Kasdan would have done this. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you to look at each other and just say I love you. Hey, Mason, there we go. Look at each other. Look at each other. Tell me you love you love each other. I love you. I love you. No, yeah, it, no, repeat it over and over. Look at each other. Tell each other I love you. Forget about the page. Oh, just how do you feel? How's your life? Kind of sarcastic, like, yeah. Good, and then you finally tell How's your life? Truth. Life? How about yours? Physicalize it. Okay. How's your life? Get in there. Right. Physicalize, people. Don't be afraid to touch. Right. It's okay. It's not going to go too far. Live, exist, okay. live in the moment. This is the only moment that counts. Right here. That's how you get great scenes. Don't edit yourself. Go! <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. I love you! I love you! <laughs> Action. Ah, amazing tradition. They throw you a great party on the one day they know you can't come. <laughs> <laughs> How long were they together? Four months. Can you believe it? She's stoned at his funeral. Karen and I are staying here tonight. We gotta fly back to Detroit in the morning. Are you staying? Oh, no, man. I gotta fly out to Dallas tonight. I have to interview a 14 blind baton twirler. Where do you get those stories from? What did you say, a 14 what? A 14 year old blind baton twirler. Go again to the top of the scene. Five times, when he man. makes a mistake and you can't hear what he said, say what? Come again. You couldn't hear him? You don't know what he said. Okay. Action. Amazing tradition. They throw you a great party on the one day they know you can't come. Hmm. How long were they together? Four months. Can you believe it? She's stoned on his funeral. Karen and I are staying here tonight. We gotta fly back in the morning to Detroit. Are you staying? No, man, I gotta fly out to Dallas tonight. I've got an interview with a 14-year-old blind baton twirler. What do you get these stories from? <laughs> hey, man, it's investigative journalism. Uh, so, uh, how's your life? Good, how's yours? Not so good. Huh. So you're finally telling the truth. Did you hear about about my my divorce? Mm, you, no. Are, are, no. Aren't you JT Lancer? 
That's the character I play. I, I'm, I'm Sam Weber. Well, whoever you are, can you... Can I have an autograph? Don't you think we should be actually thinking about Alex at a time like this? Buck. You... I'll give you a buck. I'll give you a buck for it. You're on. <gasps> you never get a crowd this big for my funeral. Oh, Karen, I'll come to your funeral and I'll bring a date. first preference for people that uh, die in our bathrooms, so. Ouch. Yeah, I'm sorry. I said that. that wasn't a nice That's thing to say. I, I don't know why I said that. It's, it's, it's okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is why I don't smoke anymore. Okay, don't make me stupid. Hey, <laughs> you talking about oh. me? <laughs> Look, there's the guy that did this to me. You talking about me? Yeah. I no longer know how to handle myself stoned. You don't have to handle yourself about us around. You no, know, you're right. Will you marry me? <laughs> you too, yes. both of you. Sure. Okay. Man, look, I don't know where they got that shit about your marriage from. <laughs> I didn't even know they were doing a story on me. Hey, hey, that's strong. Look, man, tell me you believe me. I believe you. I always believe you. And what's happening before? Have a conversation. Have any kind of conversation that's connected to what's going on. Anything. Uh, I can't believe the guy over there has got the. Not you. I'll see them be here in a place like this. Yeah, the guy can roll the ah, yeah, 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 he can roll whatever. whatever. Shut up, Donnie. Yeah. Shut up, Donnie. Who cares? Huh? Who cares? Anyway, I was talking about how I'm going to get like 20 grand. Yeah? Yeah, 20 how grand. How are you going to do that? Well, the handoff, the, you oh, know, the handoff? like, really? The, One handoff. You know, the hand, Donnie, shut up for a second. Let me talk to him. Actually, what, 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 in fact, you know what? You ready to do the scene again? Could you do me a favor and get even deeper? Just, yeah, like it, yeah. <laughs> yes, go cool. all the fucking. He's the one with the heart condition, except you feel it empathically like, every time you're you around like him because you're worried that he's going to have a friggin' heart attack. Condition. And this guy's drunk on white Russians I'm from 8.30 this high morning. High as well. Good. What'd you smoke? Um, and so, you know, yeah, everybody, get in it. Action. I, I don't see any connection okay. to Vietnam, Walter. There's, there's no literal connection, dude. Walter, there, there isn't one. It's your role. Oh, have it your way. The point that I'm trying to... It's your role. The fucking point. You ready to get screwed, man? I see you guys rolled into the semis. Yours, me, oh, Seamus and me, we're going to fuck you up. Yeah, well, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Listen to me, pendejo. You try to pull that shit out there on the lanes, I'm going to take that gun from you, shove it up your ass, until I hear the word click. Jesus. And you're going to pull the trigger. And you're going to pull the trigger. Now go back and do the whole thing again. Start from where you were. It's your old dude. It's a point. It's Are you ready to, to get screwed, man? I see you rolled your way into the semis. Dios mío, man. Hey. Seamus, me, we're going to mess you up. Yeah, well, that's like uh, your opinion, man. Let me tell you something, Mendel. You pull that crazy chin out there with us, you flash a piece on my lanes, I'm going to take it away from you and stick it up your ass and pull the trigger until it goes click. <laughs> Jesus. You said it, man. Nobody fucks with the Jesus. <laughs> and action.
action. Let me give you one piece of advice. Be honest. He knows more than you could possibly imagine. At last. Hello, Neil. As you must have guessed, I am Morpheus. It's an honor. No. The honor is mine. Thank you, Trinity. I think you must be feeling a bit like Alice tumbling down the rabbit hole. You could say that. I see you, Neon. I see a man. I see a man waiting to wake up to his normal life. Ironically, this is not far from the truth, which takes us to a deeper meaning of all this. Do you know why you're here? You're Morpheus. You're a legend. <laughs> Any hacker would die for the chance to meet you. Yes, there is that thing. But there is another thing, Neil. Do you believe in fate? No. Why not? Because I don't like the idea that I'm not in control of my life. I know exactly how you feel. Let me tell you one thing, Neil. You are here because you have a gift. What gift? I've seen you with the computers, Neo. To you, they're not just a tool. They become a part of yourself. Cut. Really? 